I was really happy when I heard that finally Nigeria now has the fourth female governor in the country. But unfortunately, hmm, soon after that, we realized that the result was announced was announced under you know some kind of suspicious circumstances and there have been allegations against the rec the iron rec who announced that result because he did not even wait wait for the collation of the total result he made that announcement according to news reports it was the secretary that was you know doing the collation and it was reported that the man got there around 11 11 p.m and then took over and just announced the results immediately without actually uh, taking without actually taking into consideration the figures and you know facts at hand at that time before we go into the details of today's news if you haven't subscribed to this channel please and please subscribe Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. They bribed us to announce APC's Bonani winner of Adamawa poll, INEC official confesses an official of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has confessed that he and the resident electoral commissioner, Udu Yunus, who announced the All Progressive Congress APC candidate, Ashatu Dahiru Bonani, winner of Adamawa governorship poll, were, were bribed with huge amount of money in a viral video showing the moment he was arrested by a mob the man could be seen begging for his release during interrogation reports quote him as saying that they were bribed to hurriedly announce binani winner of adamawa gubernatorial poll binani was hurriedly declared winner of a poll before the completion of a collation of results, Odo Yunusa announced Benani as the winner, even when the resumption of a collation of results scheduled, at, scheduled for 8 a.m. on Sunday had yet to start. However, Benani's victory was rejected by INEC afterwards. The electoral body also suspended the collation of the election results saying that it is a usurpation of the power of the returning officer. INEC declared Binani's victory null and void and of no effect. Its statement reads, and I quote, the attention of the commission has been drawn to a purported declaration of winner in the Adamawa governorship election by the resident electoral commission rec even when the process has clearly not been concluded the action of the rec is a usurpation of the power of the returning officer it is null void and of no effect consequently the collation of results of the supplementary election is hereby suspended the rec returning officer and all involved are hereby invited to the commission's headquarters in abuja immediately detailed statement to follow shortly by Mr. fester zokoye national commissioner information and voter education meanwhile the commission is deeply disturbed by the harassment of our two national commissioners deployed to the states to ensure a peaceful and credible supplementary election we urge the security agencies to provide them with necessary security and ensure that nothing up nothing on towards befalls them the two national commissioners the returning officer and other staff of the commission must be allowed to perform their duties without let or hindrance 
the commission will not condone any act of lawlessness or regardance targeted at our officials or the process before saturday's supplementary elections mr fitiri led mrs binani with over 30,000 votes the rerun election was held in 69 polling units in the 20 local governments in the state with less than 40,000 eligible voters therefore to win the election mrs benani needed a huge turnout of voters and needed to win about 90 percent of the votes cast in saturday's supplementary election meanwhile the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, and Yaga Africa have condemned the action of the Adamawa wreck. It is important that laid down processes are adhered to to avoid a breakdown of law and order in a heightened political environment. CDD will release a statement on the conduct of elections later today. CDD said in a statement on its Twitter handle, What's your opinion on this? Kindly leave your comments in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to also share with your friends and family on WhatsApp everywhere. Guys, what do you think about this? I love the fact that, you know, those commissioners, INEC commissioners, they were seriously dealt with, you know. <laughs> hey, God. How do you announce a winner? When the process has not even yet completed, it's not even complete yet. How? If these people had common sense, that is why, you know, you we always say that for you to be able to carry a spool, you need to be brilliant. But these people, obviously, they do not know what they're doing. They do not know what they're doing at all. Because if they know better, they will know that allow the process to complete and then if you want to even do any mago mago that is when you can then announce not when it is the the process is still ongoing you now announce a fake winner like how do you how the hell do you think people are going to accept the results but let me know what you all think in the comment section subscribe if you haven't i will see you in my next video bye for now